In Palestine, we must ask ourselves whose interests are driving the war. Peace meets the interests of the global majority and the Palestinians and the Israelis. A ceasefire, a two-state solution, and regional security arrangements would ensure stability as well as economic and societal development across the region. Dear friends, the Palestinian children that have been orphaned, forced to live in tents with no access to the most basic items of existence, they do not deserve it. They suffer in silence. Their cries are haunting our conscience. We have also failed them. The collective punishment of an entire population, including the indiscriminate slaughter of civilians, most of whom are women and children, has long gone beyond the realm of self-defense. Israel continues to flout its international obligations, including the orders of the ICJ and successive Security Council resolutions. Prolonged occupation does not justify or make acceptance the hardship and injustice endured. This particularly true for the people of Gaza, who continue to be brutally massacred. Today, Gaza lies in rubble. Over 15,000 people need prosthetics because of lost limbs. 10,000 of these victims are children. Where is human dignity in all of this? However, there is a way out. I'm convinced that it starts with the recognition of the right to exist of both Israel and Palestine based on the 1967 borders. We should all engage with Palestinian and Israeli leaders who recognize these rights and who oppose both anti-Semitism and anti-Palestinian feelings.